Hello and welcome back to Milo Murphy Vlog, day three of week one of the Milo Nuke thing. Okay, so today, to, today episode is Secret Compine, written by Joshua Pure Red. I know they are pronounced that, but that I go back and wrote it. Go, Milo, get him going. Okay, eventually we start the world and compete with each other, but got yeah, kind of refuses to gain any secret about him, and he seems to be hiding a certain something. And all this happens while they're waiting for a peek to be delivered, and naturally, Murphy Law got to prevent that from going smoothly and hoped. So, oh boy, this is a lot of things I don't want to talk about, but I have a lot to talk about, because it's all a lot of boiling stuff, but I got a lot. I think I'm gonna have to play get looser the plot than the last few episodes. Mostly it's just them kind of like, like, they're getting around and talking and happening to everything. Like, they're not even bothering Gak. Get a lot of time, he's just like, sort of thing get hinted at, and he's like, ah, oh, what, what, no, no. And kind of, you know, I, I thought the episode would be basically like, look, the old people, but that, they don't happening to do that, and, you know. Most of it is focused on the fact that we're just going to be delivered. Um, and, but, good mom apparently, you know, personally, and she apparently very prepared for her thing a lot. Um, I think I'm coming up to think about this, I'm not sure if I want to reveal or not. Of course, one sort of thing I'm going to be revealed if you follow the YouTube account. Yeah, thank you, guys. Well, I already knew it because of Tumblr spoiling it, but, oh well. I did all get the couple of that, so I guess I'll give him that. Um, <laughs> um, Again, but, again, um, I guess when Michael Bowman comes that, it does have a bit of, it can't plot and get the Like, it, it's like, it's about you combined, but it's like, it, I guess it's, you know, it's like, it's about when I'm waiting for Pika or Pi, um, you know, what happened to talk about from the secret about each other, um, <laughs> Like a great joke about him looking for it, where, you know, Gak, uh, wait, Gak, I can imagine, thought about what it could be, and it's pretty funny. But by the way, in Turgo, we get, like, two songs in the couple code, um, uh, one in the background and one on the screen, uh, which, yeah, they're both pretty, the first one is good, the Gak one. Uh, Gak one was great, um, I'm not sure... I feel like talking the end of the video, I'll probably reveal it because it's too funny not to talk about. Um, thankfully, no, thanks for connecting to talk about the time around. Except for the fact that the pink girl of what back on who played a guest role on the show at one point, I think she was a. Uh, um, um, the Ashley and Danica McCullough, or how do you pronounce it? Have she been. I think, um, like, kind of kicked her or of course, yeah, more famous role, but, you know, fantastic, and I don't know that. <laughs> that. But, um, she, I can't remember what I'm thinking for, but the client, you know, but she, yeah, I guess we want to go back while she's here. Um, um, near the, my own kind of accordion again, again, according to my own accordion. Probably can't, you know, fully played it yet, but he kind of did in the underground, of course. Yeah, um... Um... Without, it's not, it's only got the code, you can't hear a whole lot of that, really getting everything, so... I suppose I will talk about two major reveals. The first one is that, my own backpack is not technically in it, it comes from the baby killer, the last baby killer, who was the only one who was actually tough enough to fake from a free law. And it is beyond adorable when we see the flashback and we find out about this. You know, like, like that part was really cool. It's like, seeing that. And as far as secret, boy. Um, very little time about before we get to that. Because it feels like we're getting a whole lot to, like, okay, I'm about to talk about a little joke. Because this one was a particularly entertaining one with a lot of, like, <laughs> you, you got good jokes and you got wrong and so I can get a joke vibe because it's very you know chill mm -hmm. for characters you know yeah the characters are, are strong enough to change the them talking to him and that that kind of good character I think so 
if only we get Bradley again, we haven't seen it for like a million years, it feels like. Apparently, you pick one of the other from coming up, so. So, that, that's good. Um. That's me, whatever joke to tell me about. Um. I don't know, I just got that much for the first time. It's like if I. Because even while I fish on my second one, I'm going to be very rewatchable because there's going to be a lot of the details, you know, in there. Paragraph will coming up with even more craggy details, so. Uh, I'm getting, uh, I didn't get craggy. I got minor points, but not like any huge plot points or anything. Um. So. Again, I don't know why people are watching. Uh, be patient. You know, it's yeah, a good, good thing I didn't even feel I'm gonna be getting any more riled up. <laughs> Big of which, we're not gonna, whatever. Um, <laughs> um, okay, I guess we talk about Gag Park. Go, so, it, it turned out he was part of a lumberjack fiend boy band. Yeah, and we get to see his big hit single, and it is amazing. Primarily because it goes spot on to what boy bands are like. It actually, I don't know if he's from any of the fake they paired band, but I don't know if they're particularly boy band, but you know, they do, and it's a crazy fun on. They think to be good at doing that. They didn't come off, they didn't grab fall, now I'm a, it's like for for the biggest producer and manufacturer boy band, they sure know how to make fun of them. And, uh, they call it golf. They didn't think I already put it up, so you can go to their YouTube guys if you want to hear it. But it's funny. And apparently, it put my Dwamp in Meyer record, so very good shit name. <laughs> Dwampy, Dwamp in Meyer. <laughs> but yeah, that's the big point trying to be up. Because they hint at it, you know, like, like the fact that people kind of recognize the gag apparently from this band, and, you know, like they hint at that, you kind of get what it's about. Because it's not like a totally. Um, but yeah, the, uh, because of because the Capco definitely do some good jokes, but well, flashback of the was pretty sweet, and of course the uh, thing, uh, thing the Capco become a particularly entertaining one. Um, and taking a look at, I think Joshua, whatever, is starting to come my favorite right on the show, because he had to go find out in our family vacation, I believe, and then there's this one, all which I really like, in terms of like, in value, in terms of like, Wait, like, that's all of that. Like, we do a more uncle being pretty funny. Yeah. Um, I'm looking at, looking at not counting special, if any coming up. The one who definitely. Wait, wait. That him or John Mathfile would be the one to find out who, who referenced him. Probably just a question he wrote Dr. Gun on the file. But, um. Uh, I, really, I know I'm not pronouncing that right, but I don't care. Where are you going? Keep combining, uh. Not a whole lot of talking about it, it's a lot, but definitely a lot of fun stuff in the cup of code, so I quite like it. Um, <laughs> so, um, while we so far, probably gonna get the most discussion because of the baby kind of stuff and the lumber gack stuff. Um, still way better and more <laughs> Oh boy. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think I can about it. I think I can wrap things up. This was a particularly entertaining one, and I do think plot might be a little bit too too intense. But what you do of it was really entertaining, and the teasing role pretty good too. <laughs> yeah, they have the kind of the OG. You're not supposed to be an X in a while. They do the OG, but they haven't done that particular gag. So yeah, that's really quite a bit of fun. Okay, let's see. Tomorrow, tomorrow we have the Aphrodemicathlon. I know how to pronounce that. No, probably can't in the episode. This one kind of pretty. I've heard. I won't wait there. The people kind of heard things about. Like I didn't hear about more than a lot, but I did hear that would be interesting. If it, yeah, this one, this one I heard about more than stuff. I haven't anything about this one. Come, this one going in the anger stream. Whoops. Definitely. <laughs> it's gross. Immediately, come immediately laughter. Oh. Okay then, I pull we shall be wrapping it up tomorrow, after love, whatever. Go. Sorry, they haven't much to say, but picking a first impression too. Like, that's the thing about the video. That's why I didn't, never gonna watch. Like, that. 
I kind of like reading after depression. Like, I'm really drunk watching the upload. And I feel like if it's been a while since I watched the episode, I feel like I kind of take the thing out of it. And I don't feel like pouring all the way on one from whatever. But, yeah, because of that, bring a bunch of games because I have a ton of time to really think it over. Anyway, man, right, or the game getting better. I feel like we're starting to be kids a bigger, or at least hit bigger, like, building I have been bigger. Yeah, because it's trying to become even more entertaining, so. Yeah, like, yeah, but, again, I shall continue to we'll get more and more of that. And all that. Oh, Patrick Patrick's here for a Victoria cameo. <laughs> Four right here in the background. Of the now we have like one speaking role in every episode. Even if it had no bearing on the plot, like it does in the couple code. But they're great. They're my favorite. So, anyway, go back and get me. Probably going to keep tomorrow for Afflin and then we're going to whatever. I shall give it.